Some signs of relief are coming from Georgetown area after a news conference. Officials say the river flow has slowed down. It's pushed back the time at which the worst part of the flooding could occur. Our News 2's Deanne Roberts attended that news conference. Deanne, what can people in Georgetown expect now? Well, Brendan, people can definitely still expect some flooding. Actually, right behind me is where the Waccamaw and Little PD rivers are coming together, forming Winyah Bay. Now, this is where most of the flooding is expected to occur, right here in downtown Georgetown. In fact, right over here, you can kind of see water is starting to puddle up already. And some of the biggest things coming out of that news conference that just wrapped up a little less than an hour ago is although that river flooding has slowed down a little bit, that means that people shouldn't expect the worst of the flooding to occur here in Georgetown until Friday or even Saturday. No exact time yet on that, but that does not mean let your guard down. Officials are still preparing for worst case scenario. The South Carolina Department of Transportation is still monitoring the bridges after building that aqua dam over Highway 17. And as we reported yesterday, SCENG, they still have that natural gas turned off in several homes and businesses all throughout downtown Georgia. Town. And of course, homes and businesses are still surrounded by sandbags and boarded up windows. One of the biggest questions from that news conference, Brendan, was what will happen to the closures of the bridges? The bridges will only close if they are deemed to be unsafe. And that will be determined either by the water rising to a level that they reach a level on the structure itself that the Department of Transportation deems them to be unsafe or if the water overtops the highways or the protective barriers that are put in place that makes travel unsafe. Earlier today, Governor Henry McMaster announced that the individual assistance declaration has been approved. Now, this is a program to help people whose homes have been destroyed after Hurricane Florence. Right here in Georgetown County, officials are telling people if your homes get destroyed or have already been destroyed, to go ahead and download FEMA's app. That'll help speed up that application process. And later, after things kind of slow down here in Georgetown, officials will have FEMA representatives here to help. Live in Georgetown County, Tonight, Dan Roberts, count on two.